All right. Uh, hello, everyone. This is Joe Henches with Beyond the Chart, and this is a stock market education video. What are bar charts versus candlestick charts? We're going to start off with uh, the bar charts first. This is traditional charting. It's been around for years and years, decades, uh, actually. Uh, simple bar, a vertical line can represent a day, a week, a month, an hour, five minutes. You can have any time frame that you want. Uh, the, uh, the dash on the left is the opening price, the dash on the right is the closing price, and the high of the bar is the high for the day, and the low of the bar is the low for the day. So you can clearly see what happened for the trading uh, for today. The thing I like about bar charts, they're simple, they're clean, they're easy to see trading formations, like you can draw trend lines across here and see uh, the types of formations that are coming across. Now, candlesticks, are also, they just have a different look to them. This is the same exact picture. This is Facebook. Both of these are Facebook over the last two months, okay? And this is the same exact trading uh, that's occurred. And you can see that you just get a little different picture. And the main picture that you're getting is what's happening during the day with these, with these bars. And if that doesn't matter a ton to you, then, you know, maybe using the bar charts or it's kind of personal preference. Now, let's talk about how these are constructed. The, the body of the candlestick is colored if it's down. It's so like I've got it red for a down day, which means that the closing price was below the opening price. These uh, little lines at the top and the bottom are what they call wicks, okay? Wicks on the candles. And the wick, you, you're going to show a wick when the high for the day uh, and the low for the day were beyond the opening to close trading, okay? Now here you can see that the high, it actually closed on the high, so there is no wick, and it actually only went slightly below the opening price, so it had a very little wick here. Versus down here, it opened, went all the way down, the bears were in control, the bulls came back in, drove it back up, and closed it right here. So even though this was a down day, the bulls were in control for the last half and might have been a signal in here that the bulls were coming in. Uh, you'd been selling off for four days and now it looked like the bulls were coming in. You got a bullish day here, slight sell off here, but notice how most of these two trading occurred above the closing price in here. And then whammy on the, on the earnings report, it exploded to the upside and you got a bull move happening. So you were getting a little bit of signal. So I think the big thing in here, um, I was trying to think of, okay, the other thing I want to mention, these are dojis, okay, this is a doji bar, it means the opening and the closing price were almost identical. These are small type dojis where you have very small bars, and again, what these dojis indicate is that there's indecision, like in here. The bulls and the bears basically closed the day at the same place where they opened it. So somewhat equilibrium, somewhat of a pause, somewhat of indecision. And that's what these mean. And sometimes when you get these towards the end of a move, it means that the move is petering out and it's getting ready to reverse. So it's just something, it doesn't always happen, but it's something to be aware of and kind of like there should be a little flag going off in your head that says that's a possibility. So uh, the other one I want to mention is that when you get into candlestick charts, there's a whole art in, around this in terms of pictures. What's the picture telling me? So for example, here, there was selling going on. And this had a big down, not a big down bar, but a decent sized down bar. And then the next day was inside its body, its little white body, up, up body, was inside the body that was down here. This is what they call harami. Harami in Japanese means pregnant. So this looks like a pregnant type bar. And uh, many times uh, what you'll do is if you get the right kind of action coming afterwards, this can be a reversal situation. Uh, both on the downside and on the on the uh, on the high end, and it can reverse to the downside. So, and sure enough, within two to three days later, you got a reverse, and you came back up and challenged the the uh, previous highs here of the last week. So, uh, th there's a whole art around this. I don't want to get into all that right now, but the main point is that for you to understand. Now, why is this a blue bar? Okay, this is a blue bar because it's still dark and it's colored dark because the close was below the opening, but it, uh, it is not red because it wasn't a down day because the close here was way above the close here. 
So this was an up day, but the close was below the opening. So uh, the body's trying to tell you what happened in terms of the trading for the day, but then you have to take into consideration what happened from the previous day. Okay, and that's why you get the different color in there. So that's um, that's kind of a quick introduction just to give you an idea on bar charts. And the main thing I want to point here is point out is that everybody talks about indicators. Price is the most important thing. You can get a lot of information just by looking at the individual bars and what are the bars doing together. Uh, and, uh, and the price will tell you what's happening. Uh, indicators basically lean on price, but price is the most important thing. So anyway, this has been Joe for Beyond the Chart. Thanks for stopping by. Have a great day.